Well, good afternoon. Boston And uh, we are Wisconsin's northern border on the shores here of Lake Superior. Welcome to the Swanson Report. Now, just a reminder, standard you know, disclaimer, we are not medical professionals. We are not chartered financial accountants and we don't dispense any financial or medical advice. Please consult your own experts in those fields. Now, let's get on with our presentation. It is uh, just a short of a, two weeks until Partisan primary here in Wisconsin. I know Willie and Fight Back Media have done uh, a video about this for the, his area. The uh, primary on Republican, you're only going to get a Republican uh, ballot. If you're a registered Democrat, you're only going to get a, a Democratic ballot. So you can't cross there as th this is from Ballotpedia and Ballotpedia.org. Just looking at Wisconsin, what's going on in Wisconsin. And this is all, but I think as we get down here, uh, all but the local races. Because uh, we have sheriff and county coroner, coroner and that sort of thing. But anyway this is you know everybody their brother-in-law you know your 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 second cousin twice removed on your mother's side everybody is running in this well not everybody but everybody in the kitchen sink i should say so senate uh, ron johnson obviously is the incumbent uh for our one of our senate seats mandela barnes is the current lieutenant governor running for senator here in wisconsin and then we have like i said we have a plethora of other people who are running for the seats here governor of wisconsin not quite so many tony evers our current incumbent governor we would love to replace him uh adam fisher i know nothing about rebecca clayfitch was scott walker's lieutenant governor into the governor's race here as in late within the past month. Kevin Nicholson, who I have done a video with, and uh, it is posted on YouTube and all the usual suspect places. Uh, Kevin has withdrawn, uh, citing nobody wants to talk about the issues. They are, a, they would have to go negative in order to do any sort of things and they you know, have to run a completely negative campaign uh, and did not want to do that. He is a man of uh, integrity and wanted to talk about the issues. Good for him. Congressman Carr, 7th District Congress, Tom Tiffany, who I had lunch with a couple weeks ago, uh, is the incumbent. Uh, I don't know anything about the other two part people this in primary lieutenant governor again here are you know one two three four five six ten people on the ballot for lieutenant governor seems a bit excessive but hey what do we know huh <laughs> um boy i've got no idea about you know these folks i do know jonathan Wichman. Because uh, he was an early uh, candidate, had uh, started out running for governor and then switched and, and going for lieutenant governor. So who knows? Attorney General of Wisconsin, Josh Call, is the uh, current incumbent. I believe Adam Jake Jarchow. I'm not sorry, Adam, if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Um, I think he's already, he's in the assembly, but the name looks familiar there. Wisconsin Secretary of State, 
Amy Lauterbach is a good choice there. Douglas J. Lafollet or Lafollet, however you want to pronounce it, is the current incumbent. We were supporting Amy Lauterbeck. We are supporting Amy Lauterbeck. We, as in myself, Wisconsin Treasurer. I'm not sure. Just as long as it's not a Democrat, I don't know. In our uh, local Senate districts, our, our Senate District 25, which is where we reside, Romaine Quinn, nice guy, great guy. He's the guy that needs to go to the uh, to take that Senate district from uh, Janet Bruley. And then in the State Assembly, District 74, again, which we're in, uh, Chance Green is the guy, nice guy. He's been to my house. We like him very much. But uh, that's how things work here in Wisconsin for our, our 2022. Make sure you mark it on your calendar. Remember, all politics is local, so do that. And with that, I'm going to say, you know, hey, thanks for your time and attention. And I trust you have enjoyed our content. You know, please share this with your like-minded friends, associates. And please choose another one of the offerings that will be on either side. The fingers go each way. Um, we'll have a couple other videos. You know, just another reminder. You know, we are not licensed financial advisors. We are not licensed medical doctors or practitioners. And nothing that we uh, discuss here should be construed as such, either financial or medical information or advice. If you would like to support Fightback Media and or the SwansonReport.locals.com, the most efficient and value-added way is to go to FightbackMedia.com and click on the Donate button on the left-hand side of the webpage. Or you can go to the SwansonReport.locals.com. It's $5 a month or $60 a year or more. If you want to be one of those people, we'd appreciate it. Thanks again. See you all again real soon.